Okay, so here we are, uh, and I've uh, set up my Gmail account, and I've gone ahead and I've actually sent myself a test message. So what, what you can see here is um, this is basically, uh, well, now if, if, if I had more than one message, I'd be able to uh, be able to flick through. I can create a message, and as you can see, as soon as you go to create a message, it basically goes into uh, the Windows Mobile you know, interface, which is, is not awesome, but again, what HTC did was they actually created these uh, the menu um, options that are actually quite quite finger friendly so that is uh, helpful and then um, as you can see here basically I can tap on the message um, and, and it loads up inside the Windows Mobile email client um, it does the Windows Mobile email client does an okay job at rendering HTML email it's not frankly it's it's not great um, but uh, again you know on a non uh, a, on a device rather without a keyboard I don't know how much email you're going to be doing but it is something to be aware of uh, I, I typically use a device um, oh of course the the lights are out. You can't you can't see that. Let's throw a little bit of light on the situation. There we go. Um, I use a, a Blackjack 2, you know, uh, before this, and so it's a device with uh, with a keyboard, and uh, that is frankly something that, um, you know, if you're going to be doing a lot of email, you may want a physical keyboard, but if you don't want a physical keyboard, uh, this device is something that um, will will do the job. Now, uh, we'll, go, we'll, we'll keep moving along here. Okay, so this is uh, the Opera Mobile client, or rather this is the tab uh, for internet. Now when I click on launch browser, it's gonna launch um, Opera Mobile here. And after a couple seconds, it'll come up and it comes up with, uh, with, with, with a search. Uh, so let's say I wanna do a search for dogs. And boom, go ahead and we'll do a search. And so Opera Mobile is a, a, very, a very capable um, uh, web browser. I'm gonna rotated here. Although uh, you'll notice too, uh, you see how there's this little, there's this kind of this interface here that will pop up at the bottom. Um, but uh, now I'm trying to think here. Uh, yeah, there we go. So it, so it does actually go away on its own. So it gives you uh, the ability to see, you know, a, a lot of a web page on here. And so right now, of course, I'm looking at uh, the web on you know an eight, it's 800 pixels wide this way and 480 this way and so you're 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 not now a lot of websites are designed for about a thousand pixels wide but um, you know as you can see here this is you know full fidelity I'm, I'm, I'm able to see kind of everything I'm able to uh, you know pinch I'm able to uh, uh, to zoom I'm able I'm able to uh, you know zoom out I can uh, double tap basically all of those all those things that are really popular you know uh, on the iPhone you are able to do in this browser. So yeah, that's basically just a, a quick demo of Opera Mobile. Uh, now this, I believe this is Opera Mobile 9 and Opera, as of December 2009, they just released Opera 10 beta. And so uh, hopefully HTC will be updating to that new client if it is in fact, uh, you know, any better. Now you can also add uh, shortcuts here. So what I can do is I can say, I want a shortcut uh, to Facebook and what'll happen here. Now I'm not entirely sure if it'll do it right now or if it'll do it kind of the, the, uh, the next time that I visit the website, but it's actually supposed to show you a snapshot of the uh, the website there. So let's say I want to add HTC, and then uh, let's say I, I actually want to visit Facebook uh, on my phone here. I'm going to load up Facebook, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let the page load basically, and then I'm going to exit out, and we'll see if it updates that favorite icon. Uh, I really, really like the uh, the favorite icon because it gives you a really friendly way of uh, accessing the websites that you want to access frequently. Yeah, there we go. Boom. So you see right there, uh, it now shows me the uh, the Facebook uh, icon. So again, really, really nice. And it gives you a few, uh, looks like maybe six, uh, eight, something like that. Yeah. So let's move on to uh, calendar. I've already basically talked about calendar, but you can go into uh, a month view, you can go into an agenda view, and that's basically it. It doesn't, oh yeah, sorry, they do have they do have a year view. Now again, what's kind of cool here is that because it's such a high res screen, even though these numbers are really tiny, they're, 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 actually, uh, they're actually quite readable by human eyes. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta definitely appreciate that. Uh, now we'll flip over here, we have a, a stock quote. So if you play the markets, um, you can get your you can get your stock quotes. You can update it um, anytime you want. The market's closed right now, so here is that. You can click on um, photos and videos. Now, photos and videos. Um, HTC has just a really really beautiful um, um, program. Uh, sorry for uh, for doing that. So we're going to rotate. Uh, we can flip through. As you can see now, as you can see here, the the uh, performance is 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 quite good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip all the way back. I'm going to click on one. And you can see how it did that really nice, you know, smooth animation. And I'm going to just basically go through and um, 
you're going to see just how uh, how high performance this is. So again, that that Snapdragon processor is is just it's fantastic. Honestly, it's really really great. There's there's lots of different things you can do. You can save a picture as a contact icon, save it as a screen image, and you can delete it. Um, you can you can uh, send a picture uh, up to Facebook. Uh, this is the uh, the slideshow mode, so you can go ahead and you can do slideshows. Again, this screen. Um, I don't know if this video is going to do this screen justice, but this screen is absolutely fantastic. I've taken a look at my pictures on this screen, and I know what you know they're supposed to look like. This screen does an excellent excellent job of uh, of uh, rendering. And let's see here, photos and videos. Now this is the, uh, yeah, so this is actually the uh, the camera shots. Uh, I'm not gonna do a demo of the camera right now. Well, actually, no, you know what? I will, I'm gonna put something down there. Now it's dark, but of course we have the flash. So, uh, let's see here. Yeah, so I can click on this. It'll try to zoom in. Boom. So I don't know if you saw uh, how bright that flash was, but as you can see, it had absolutely you know no problem uh, illuminating. Uh, oh, here, I, I can actually show you how bright it is. Get ready. Whoa. Yeah. Really bright. Uh, in fact, it's so bright, it's actually kind of socially awkward <laughs> if you uh, if you take a picture with, with this camera uh, because, yeah, it's just, it's really freaking bright. Um, yeah, but anyway, there's, uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of details, but there's a whole bunch of uh, configurations you can do. You know, you can change the ISO setting, you can change the white balance, you can change where stuff is stored, lots and lots of stuff. Now, here's the picture that I just took. Uh, pinch and zoom, all those great things. As you can see here, the camera did a pretty good job, actually, of, of, of capturing you know the detail I can move around I can zoom in I can zoom out I can double tap to zoom in all those things that frankly you know uh, the iPod touch and the iPhone kind of came up with or, or at least they popularized the idea of the double tap and the pinch HTC supports all of those things and there we go so that is uh, oh right sorry we're back in the camera app you want to exit the camera app boom there we go now we are back into um, the uh, the basic stuff uh, this is the the music one. So what you can do is you can actually flip. Uh, this is the music app, and it's kind of confusing because so it's the music tab, but it's actually the app uh, that 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 comes with the actual uh, device. And what's kind of neat now, I don't I can't violate copy, copyright law, so I'm actually going to lower the volume. And you can actually see when it's on the music app, you can see that you don't get the typical volume. So I'm going to go that I'm going to mute it right. I'm going to uh, I'm going to hit play and uh, the music is playing. <laughs> so you can actually see that there's like a little, uh, a little uh, progress indicator down there. And so you can actually go ahead and you can flip through. You can say, oh, okay, I wanna listen to you know, some, uh, some Snow Patrol, whatever, boom, there you go. There is your, uh, there's your stuff. You can go through, you can click on the library and you can actually see now playing. You can investigate, uh, you can investigate different metadata. You can look at the albums. And again, this is all, this is all HTC's application. So essentially they just built what Windows Media Player Mobile should have been. Frankly, that application is kind of pathetic. It's a pre it's a pretty bad app, and HTC just did uh, a really really great job. So now, uh, between having uh, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack at the bottom and having a really great media player app, now HTC I think built a really great you know device that can actually be used as a media player. Now they do have a Twitter application, so if you're on Twitter, you can go ahead and, so this is my Twitter feed, so I can scroll through, um, I can check out all tweets, I can check out you know anyone that has actually uh, you know mentioned me, etc., etc. I can go back. Now, here's something I want to point out, again, maybe it's been fixed by the ROM update, but the Twitter update, I noticed that, that I, would, I, would, I would click on update and you can see here there's that little rotating icon up in the corner there. It would update uh, the Twitter feed, but then it, or sorry, it's supposed to update the Twitter feed, but then it wouldn't update the Twitter feed. So I don't know what the heck was going on, but um, I'm hoping that this new ROM update is, has fixed that, that, that part, uh, that bug, because of course it's really irritating to not be able to uh, see your Twitter feed. This is something called HTC uh, Footprints. Footprints is a way of, uh, com of uh, essentially combining uh, pictures um, with geotagged information. Um, I haven't I haven't really used it, or rather I used it once, but I didn't really fully grasp what I was doing. Um, I need to kind of play with it a little more to figure out exactly how it works. And then of course this is the settings. This is where you control a, a, control a bunch of stuff with the device. You can, you know, change um, the, uh, the home tab wallpa wallpaper, 
So let's say I want to have this this purple wallpaper. So this is actually animated. I can change I can change the lock screen uh, wallpaper here. So maybe I want to have a wallpaper. Maybe I want to have uh, this funky wallpaper down here. Boom, now that's been changed. If I turn off the device and I turn it back on again, there is my funky cool uh, wallpaper. I sweep this aside here. You notice there it took me two swipes, so again, it's not always perfect. And then of course I've changed the desktop uh, wallpaper here. So that's about it for the built-in HTC apps. You know, the, the device comes with, with other software. Uh, it comes with um, a really, really nice YouTube client. So if you like consuming uh, you know, YouTube on your device and maybe you're watching this on YouTube, right now this is a really 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 nice um, YouTube application that HTC has built again a lot of the stuff that HTC has done are, is, is because Microsoft, frankly, hasn't done what they're sort of supposed to do, uh, and so HTC has created a lot of uh, a lot of really really nice uh, applications. So YouTube client, uh, there's the camera app, there's the camcorder app. So of course this thing can record video. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on the resolution of the video. I will throw that up when I'm editing this video. You have uh, Windows Mobile uh, Marketplace. Uh, now this is the first time I've actually used this. So what it's going to do is it's actually going to download an application. Now I'm connected over Wi-Fi. If you're curious about why that happened uh, so incredibly quickly. I'm connected over Wi-Fi and Edge, but the phone is smart enough to use Wi-Fi to be able to uh, grab stuff uh, quickly. So here is, um, you know, uh, Marketplace. I don't, don't really want to talk about Marketplace today. We can talk about that a little bit later. Um, in terms of other applications, that's, I think that's about it. Um, you know, uh, it, it does come with Microsoft My Phone, uh, but for HTC applications, that's, that's pretty much it. It does come with the Facebook app, but again, that's also microphone. It comes with Bing, sorry, a microphone. Boy, this video is getting kind of long. Microsoft comes with Bing, that is also Microsoft, and of course it also comes with, I'm gonna hit cancel there, it also comes with um, uh, Google Maps, so if you like using Google Maps, you can get that there. It comes with Copilot, Opera Mobile, which I already mentioned, and then Peep, which is uh, HTC's uh, Twitter client. So, oh boy, that was a lot to cover. So, this, is the HTC HT2. That has been a quick software overview. This has been Jason Dunn from Windows Phone Thoughts. I hope you have uh, enjoyed watching this um, video. I think HTC has done a fantastic, fantastic job um, with the software on the device. It's not perfect, but uh, frankly, they've done a really good job and it makes using uh, a Windows Phone that is running you know, HTC Sense, it makes it using just a delight, just a, a pure joy because they've done such a good job with their software. If you like the video, please feel free to uh, rate it, uh, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Those are the three things I'd like you to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.